This is a Louis T. Network exclusive. Who else could it be? Me, Jordan Mick. Louis T, welcome. You are in the lab room. Of course, I'm your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me. On the 2016 NFL Draft Prospects 101 Series, your guys are some of the biggest and hottest names of the 2016 NFL Draft. I told you I thought I had one more edge rusher in me, and it's funny because this guy wasn't even on my radar to start this process. One of my biggest joys in watching film is finding hidden gems, or in this case, finding and unearthing another gem indirectly while watching somebody else on tape. And every year I do this, I either find underclassmen that I'll keep my eye on from afar as their, their careers in, in college continue to progress, or it's a guy that I find out about is coming into the draft like this particular time. I'm watching Shaq Lawson on tape, and number 98 for Clemson continuously it's flashing and making plays. He's in the backfield. He's getting after the quarterback. Who is this guy? Is what I asked myself. Finally, I went and did some homework. Found out, damn, he's in the draft too. What do you know? Shaq Lawson's running mate at Clemson, defensive end Kevin Dodd is up next on the NFL Draft Prospects 101 series. Man, I tell you what, this guy has been ultra impressive in watching him on tape. Let's talk about his pros and his cons and why this guy has already made it to Mike Mayock's top five in terms of edge rushers in this draft and why he's climbing up my draft board as we speak right now. 6'4", 275 pound prototype defensive end slash outside linebacker. I actually like his body type to make the conversion to 3-4 outside linebacker. He looks like a guy that won't have any problems making that transition at the next level. Looks comfortable in a two-point stance. Looks fluid enough out of space. He's a guy that gives you maximum effort. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and talk about that pro while we're here. Great motor. You don't have to worry about Kevin Dodd taking plays off. Plays going away from him backside. He's chasing that play backside like his hair is on fire. There, there are times where this guy makes plays as a play against Miami. Running back, gets out of the backfield, breaks through to the second level. Who catches him down 22 yards down the field? Kevin Dodd. That's the type of player you're getting with Kevin Dodd, a guy that's not going to give up on any given snap. He may not be in the play, but he'll find a way to get to the play. Whether he's late or on time to the party, you can expect Kevin Dodd to show up at some point. Very patient and disciplined football player. To me, very high football IQ. And I think, let me give some credit to Brent Venables, the Clemson defensive coordinator, because I said the same exact thing about Shaq Lawson. I don't think it's a coincidence that Clemson seems like year after year, they're sending a new crop of defensive football players to the NFL that are smart football players that understand leverage and how to set the edge in the run game, but more importantly, know how to stay home, backside on a run. That cut back, not there because Shaq Lawson is at home or Kevin Dodd is at home. They're playing against a lot of spread offense, so that means a lot of read options. Gotta stay home on read option. If you take that dive, guess what? Quarterback's pulling it out and he's running. These guys are very disciplined. To me, I look at Kevin Dodd, very high football IQ. Not a guy that is fooled very often. Now, he may not be as athletic to get there, even though his eyes know exactly what's going on. His brain has already processed it and he can react. He may not get there because he's not the extreme elite athlete that can make some of those plays, but you're not gonna fool this guy just off of something as simple as read option, or you're not gonna fool this guy and get him to crash down on a play backside. He's gonna stay at home, he's gonna be where he's supposed to be. And sometimes, and I've said this on numerous occasions, sometimes just doing your job speaks volumes for a football player. Just being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there can make all the difference in the world between a play going for one yard and a play going backside, cut back where you were supposed to be for seven yards and a touchdown. Plays with great leverage on the outside. And I wanna go ahead and lump this next pro. Matter of fact, let me lump these next 
three pros together because it leads into the, the pro after that. Plays with great leverage, great quickness, solid hand usage. So with Kevin Dodge, you get a lot of different things going with this guy. Great leverage. You'll see on, on film numerous occasions where he'll just take one hand and it's funny, not often will you hear people say in any sport, one hand or one arm is better than two. But in football, especially when you're setting the edge in a run game, one arm is always better than two because you get a longer reach with one arm. Okay, so he'll take one arm, extend it on the tackle. Usually it's the inside arm, which is what you want. Inside, keep that outside shoulder free and is able to make a, a play on the running back should he come to the outside. Same thing to the inside. He'll keep a guy here with the inside arm and, and he'll keep that uh, other arm free. Sometimes it'll be inside, sometimes it'll be outside and he'll shed him, ball co carrier comes and he makes the play. He has great leverage that he plays with in the run game from a two point stance, three point stance with his hand in the dirt. He gives you a, a number of different options and versatility is another pro that I'll talk about here in a second but you get some great hand usage off the snap so whether it's from a two-point stance hand in the dirt he's the guy that's going to use his hands to win again not the most athletically gifted guy in, in this draft class but again a guy that is savvy enough to get to the ball carrier to get to the quarterback hand usage a big part of that and I talked about technique with Joey Boza, here's another guy that I really like his technique, especially with his hands. And that quickness always helps because if you're not going to be explosive and you're not going to be the guy that is going to explode off the snap with that first and second step, you need to have some quickness. He wins with quickness. He wins with hand usage. He wins with leverage. He does a lot of good things, which leads me to this next pro. He's a borderline dominant player in the run game. There's not a lot of times you'll see a run right at him where he's not involved in the play somehow. You look at that Alabama game and this guy stood out. I think he had three sacks in that Alabama game, a couple of tackles for loss in the backfield. They could not contain Kevin Dodd in that national championship game versus Alabama. And that's just a little bit of what you get from Kevin Dodd, a guy that can knife into the backfield with quickness. I just spoke about that. Get in there, tackle for loss. A guy that can win with hand usage to the outside, get up the field, next thing you know he's bagging your quarterback. He's a guy that can be a problem and a lot of those problems that he causes stems from quickness, hand usage, leverage, and his, all of those things combined leads to him being one of the best run stopping outside linebackers slash defensive ends in this entire draft. Very versatile. Here's a guy that I already mentioned. I think he can stand up and I think I'm anxious to see how he does athletically, how he times out at the combine. And I want to see him in the conversion drills. I really want to see how this guy maneuvers when they have him going all over the field and they have him dropping in the zones and breaking on the football. How does he catch? I want to see all of those things out of Kevin Dodd because he looks like a guy that would be comfortable out of space. I don't think he's a guy that you necessarily want out of space as often, but I think he's a guy that can do that. And I think he will make a solid convert at the next level if he's able to test out well as a 3-4 outside linebacker. But th those are a lot of the pros that you see with Kevin Dodd, the guy that just does a lot of things. And I think he brings a, a level of consistency that you're not going to see out of a lot of college players especially with limited snaps and reps throughout their career and we're going to talk about that here in a second but let's matter of fact jump into his cons and talk about Kevin Dodd and why he wasn't as highly touted as his running mate Shaq Lawson and his counterpart on the other side of the defensive line he lacks explosion and much like Shaq Lawson you're not getting a guy with an elite first step you're not getting a guy that is extremely explosive and he's not Dante Fowler Jr. okay from last year a guy that didn't play but you saw the explosive first step if he was able to get on your tackle quickly chances are he was going to get in the backfield and, and make something happen that's not what you're getting here you're getting a guy that's going to win with savvy that's going to win with technique that's going to win with hand usage it's going to win with some quickness quickness and explosiveness two different things and Kevin Dodd doesn't have a lot of explosiveness needs to refine his rush moves and I'll take it a step further and tell you that he doesn't have a dominant rush move. That's the next con for Kevin Dodd. 
And I was talking to a buddy of mine, a long time viewer of the channel, my man, Reed. And he brought up something that I used to say all the time back in the day, so I'm gonna throw it back in the vocabulary now. Pam Mon is what I used to say all the time when I talked about guys who lack a, a trait that stood out. And Kevin Dodd to me is one of those guys, Pam Mon, proficient at many, master of none. There's not one single trait of Kevin Dodds that stands out, other than the fact that he is dominant in the run game to me. But we're talking pass rushing ability. Nothing he does is an A-level move. There is no fastball with Kevin Dodd. There is no bull rush that's dominant. There is no spin move. At least Shaq Lawson has a vicious spin move. You don't believe me? Go check out the tape versus Notre Dame in 2015 and watch him put Ronnie Stanley, a top five, definitely a top 10 potential pick in this draft at the tackle position for Notre Dame. Watch him put him in a spin cycle. That's how effective that spin move is for Shaq Lawson. Well, you don't get that with Kevin Dodd. No spin, no bull rush, no rip move, no swim move, none of that stuff. He doesn't have anything that is elite that stands out among his pass rushing moves. He's just a solid guy proficient at many master of none is kevin dodd when it comes to rushing after the quarterback that's something he's going to have to develop at the next level if he's going to make his bones going after the quarterback limited production in college is his last con here's a guy that up until his junior season that he just completed did not have a sack to his name and again keep in mind Play behind guys like Vic Beasley, like Malachi Goodwin. Then you throw in a guy now like Shaq Lawson. There weren't a lot of snaps for Kevin Dodd, but when he got his opportunity, and I said the same thing about Shaq Lawson, when he got his opportunity to get on the field, he made the most of it, and you see this guy showing up and showing out in his junior season with 12 sacks. So you're getting a guy in Kevin Dodd that I really like a lot. I think he's going to be outstanding in the run game at the next level, whether he's got his hand in the dirt or he's standing up in a two-point stance. I think he's going to be a terror in the run game. And I think he's a guy that with some pass rushing refinery can get to the quarterback and use some of the traits that he has. None of them stand out above the rest. Pam Mon, none of them stand out above the rest. Proficient at many, master of none. But I think they're all good enough that if he uses them in combination with one another, he can get to the quarterback. That's Kevin Dodd, defensive end slash outside linebacker at Clemson. And his draft prospects 101 breakdown. If it happens in the National Football League, whether big or small, we cover it all here in the lab room. Come back and join me as I continue to break down anything and everything in the National. Football league gonna make that quick transition to cornerback. Come back and join me. We're gonna talk some DBs next time on this program. See you next time. There's plenty more where that came from. While you're here, subscribe to the channel. If you want more Louis T, be sure to follow me on Twitter at In the Lab Room, or you can like the Facebook page at In the Lab Room. That's In the Lab Room on Facebook and at In The Lab Room on Twitter. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.